Hi, my name is Erica Tubbs, and I'm a freshman here at Wayne State University, and I'm staying in the first year resident experience, also known as the FIRE community, where all the freshmen come to live, and there's plenty of opportunities for aid and advising, and there's plenty of events held within, so we get to know the people on our floor and our community better. Walking up this pathway on the left, you're gonna see a bit of a seating area, which is really nice in the summertime. And there's another sidewalk that takes you out to the main sidewalks as well. And to get into the building, you scan your one card. When you scan your one card, usually both the double doors open, but because it's cold, they're only opening one of them right now. That podium is usually where we have our security guard at night. And walking past, you'll see the elevator, stairway, and our front desk. Now, as we're going into the lounge, this is usually where they'll hold plenty of events where you can get into contact with advising and there was a dining event there as well. Walking further back is the lounge. The bean bags are super comfy and it's just a really great area to hang out. And it has a little hiding nook, which is a personal favorite place to sit. Right in front of us right there are some conference rooms where Hall Council will meet and other groups meet to talk. There's a calendar. There is calendars all over the dorms telling you events going on. On the right, there's our mailboxes. And on the left, those are images of our RAs. And that is also our hall council. I'm on the bottom right. <laughs> there's a printing and copying machine, and there's also a one card if you want to just put more money onto your one cards. Here at the front desk is where you'll pick up your mail and general conversation. They're pretty nice. Now, like I said earlier, on the main floor, they keep a lot of the same architecture before the renovation of the building, and this stairway is beautiful. On the left, you can take the stairs and go down to the laundry room, or later I'll show you a shot through the elevator. There is nine floors in the Chatsworth buildings, and the views are great for all of them. Now I'm walking out of the stairwell up to our eighth floor lounge, which is super fun to hang out with because we have a ping pong table in there. You can always check out the paddles and balls down at the main desk on the main floor. And in every lounge, there is a TV and the remote is like a light panel on the wall. Now that we're walking into floor seven, you'll see a calendar on the wall stating all of the events for the month. And you'll notice that this is a lounge without a door. It's super fun to hang out at. There's whiteboards as well. And there's lots of couches, places to sit, and of course a TV. I remember coming up here to play hangman with a couple of my first roommates at the start of the semester. And there's always that amazing view. That field that you're seeing right now is called Keist Commons, and that's where they'll have Festival. Welcome to my room. Right in front of us is the AC cooler, and Expo markers come right off. This is the bathroom, and I definitely recommend bringing a wheel cart storage because there's only three drawers. Um, every shower room is a little small, and there are hooks on the walls, but we covered ours with a shelf. And right here is my room. So now that we've entered my room, I really love all the hanging storage space. And if I had a roommate, that other closet would be theirs. But right now, it's a bit of a pantry. I have a Wednesday blanket laid down on my bed and a stitch poster on the wall. I love using sticky notes to decorate because you can't paint the walls, but it's fun to brighten up the place. And a projector because TVs are too expensive. Now this is a view of the living space where there's two couches and plenty of places to put up posters. If you look out the window, you get a great view of the fountain court where there's plenty of places to go and festival kind of spills over a little bit. You can also see the back of the student center. There's their TV stand and we have it for storage. And hi, that's me. Walking into this room, this is my roommate's room. All the rooms are a little bit different and they love the way they decorated it. The view outside their window, you can also see the Mort Harris Recreational Building as well as the Fountain Court. And they have so much storage space. Now on every floor here in the Chatsworth Building, there is a communal kitchen. In the kitchen, there's a toaster, a microwave, an oven, and a stove a sink, and all the sinks have a garbage disposal. I did forget to take my spoon out once, so don't do that. Uh, there's a communal fridge, and there's always that nice area in the back. I wonder if they'll ever put a table there.
And right here is the really short walk from Chatsworth to Towers. Towers has this amazing open area that you can sit and eat and it has great tables, but we'll get to that later. Now there's a little bit of a gravel pathway and then there's sidewalk that's always shoveled in the winter time. Now, as you notice, we do have one of those big blue poles. So if you ever feel unsafe on campus, you can always press that button and someone will come to escort you wherever you need. A little bit further walk is a fun tunnel underneath the tower's residential halls and it's got chalkboard walls. Plenty of clubs and other artists will come and draw on the walls. I do think you need permission. And straight up ahead is a staff building. That is where most of our staff offices are. There's some artwork from one of the local communities. Take a right and a little bit further ahead are the doors to Towers Dining. Doors straight ahead are one way to get into Towers Residentials. And here is the amazing view into the dining hall. On the left, they always have demonstrations of what they're serving for the day. And today they had burgers, some cheesy tater tots, sandwiches, salads, pizza, plenty of good things. One of the best parts about Towers is that they have the Global Kitchen. In the Global Kitchen, there's always something new. And right here is our ramen bar, where you can choose from all these different options. They'll make it right in front of you, like at Mongolian Barbecue. And right here, this is that amazing room that I was telling you about with the open windows and big tables. One of my first roommates was a triplet, and so her sisters and her sister's roommates and all of us would come and sit at these long tables so they're perfect for big groups. They also have high tops, which are really nice to sit at as well. If you wanted to grab a snack to go, in Towers, there's the Midtown Market Express, where you can pay for them with your warrior dollars. And on the bottom, we have Sushi Gabar, which will soon be partnering with Wayne State. There's also plenty of other snacks and sweet treats. 